Well, I finally went to see Ron Paul yesterday, UC Davis, in the flesh. I was very close to him. I recorded the entire proceeding, uh, but um, I have to recharge my laptop to upload it to YouTube. The poor laptop is dead. <clears throat> and um, I've been very concerned trying to piece everything together. Uh, the difference between my approach, I believe, and, and many other people that are in the online citizen uh, journalist community um, is that I try to let the information tell me the story rather than imposing my thoughts on the information. So, as some of you may know, <clears throat> I did a study of the media and its connection to uh, its investors having identical investments in the military and the banking systems, <clears throat> which is not unexpected because it's a Fortune 500. You buy a Fortune 500 index fund and you'll end up doing the same thing. It's not a conspiracy yet. Um, and we have this terrible, disturbing uh, trend since the end of the Cold War where defense spending has never gone down, it's just continually gone up. And then with 9-11, uh, we lost our uh, Bill of Rights basically through the Patriot Act. Um, and the national security state started to go on overdrive. Uh, so now uh, under Obama, we have the NDAA, expanded legal protection of drones, uh, or pseudo-legal uh, protection of these evil weapons that are used to assassinate people in foreign countries. Robots, it's like the Terminator movie. And then we have the expansion of corporate government. So basically government expansion, big government right now is really corporate expansion because the government is captive to corporations, although obviously the, the unions and other large constituencies such as APEC have a big influence, but basically it's a captive government. It's a form of um, fascism or totalitarianism. Uh, and I only say that um, to uh, wake people up. Um, so uh, what we've seen is just a, a constant assault on our uh, rights and um, at many levels. So we have the non-NDAA uh, uh, the National Defense Authorization Act, which allows now permanent uh, imprisonment of Americans without trial, torture, rendition, foreign torture programs, as far as I understand the potential interpretation of this law. And if that isn't fascism or totalitarianism, you have to tell me what is. Um, and um, <clears throat> then we had the attempt with the uh, the. Uh, CISPA and its predecessor, SOPA, uh, and then in the last 48 hours since uh, CISPA passed the House, um, we had Ron Paul's main channel on YouTube shut down, and Alex Jones, who is uh, the kind of, uh, who is certainly not a mainstream media person. And the, uh, what really shocked me also was that on May 2nd, I grabbed the New York Times and was, things have been so bad lately, I had a suspicion about this. And uh, sure enough, uh, there were protests all over the U.S. Some of them uh, had real problems. There were basically tanks used, uh, as far as I understand it, in Oakland, these uh, things that are called grizzlies. Um, there was uh, hundreds of police there out uh, in their riot gear, as far as I understand it. Seattle, there was, a, uh, there wasn't a single article on it the entire New York Times. So the press is definitely seems to be captive. This is just inexcusable. I will never read the New York Times again uh, in a good mood, that's for sure, or believe anything they say, other than about, um, I don't know. I mean, there, some of their criticisms of their of the state enemies might at least provide some information. So, uh, you know, and Christopher Hedges talked about 1984 and the parallels. I think he was, I mean, it's probably obvious to anyone. And we've always talked about Orwellian things like the, uh, the extreme uh, misinformationists. Uh, love to call laws the opposite of what they actually are, like the Patriot Act, which is Orwellian. And uh, there's a lot of parallels, uh, which is unfortunate, to put it mildly, since uh, at the end of 1984, O'Brien 
says, uh, you want to know the future of humanity? Imagine a boot stepping on a human face for a thousand years. Um, and so it's not a very good parallel. And, uh, and due to this misinformation that's pumped out by this corporate media and Glenn Greenwald on Democracy Now! had a great piece about this. Um, you know, with uh, misinformed people, they're going to demand bad policies. Uh, we have our schools crumbling. My aunt lives up in Oregon, and her school district's probably going to be closed. The kids live in cars there. They're, there's a horrible a meth problem. And um, ironically, just simple amphetamines are vastly less damaging than methamphetamine. So simply uh, legalizing, for example, I, in my view, regulating and uh, and using the medic, well, maybe not. <clears throat> but people are demanding that uh, we, and applauding when we talk about increasing national security, when we're already um, in a may, uh, have half of the arms spending in the world, uh, and our allies in Europe and in uh, Asia combined, uh, Japan and so forth, um, have like 80% of the world's military resources. Uh, if we didn't want to, we certainly wouldn't have any issues with uh, militarized Russia or China for uh, many decades. Uh, so and people are applauding Mitt Romney saying that he's going to be strong on defense and Obama being strong on defense. Uh, and then they wonder why their schools are falling apart. Uh, you can't do everything at once. So uh, as far as um, Alex Jones' channel and Ron Paul's channel being shut down on YouTube, let's be clear, this was Ron Paul supporters' channel, ronpaul2008.com, uh, but it was the main site on YouTube. Um, and uh, I don't understand how Alex Jones was shut down because he produces his own material um, so uh, this is another horrible hamstring. So but what I want to close on is this two-party system is really a one-party system. In a country with a one-party system, that's a totalitarian country, such as Nazi Germany or uh, the Soviet Union, um, once they had decided not to allow any other parties there. So to say good night and good luck at this point, it's more like good night and get ready.